come check out this $4 million house in the heart of LA. So here we are in the front yard of this home. You can see the landscaping, the driveway right behind me. You can definitely fit at least eight cars or so on this driveway. And as we walk up to this covered patio space in the front of the home, I love the curved archways that you can see behind me, leading you to the entirety of this large patio space. And it takes you over to the side yard as well, but I'm gonna walk down a couple of steps, show you the rest of this driveway. Like I said, you could probably have maybe even more than eight cars. It takes you back to the back side of the house in the backyard as well that we will check out in just a few, but let me show you the inside of this one. So here we go, right as we enter, I mean, beautiful grand entryway for four million is a pretty good deal out here on the west side in West LA. Staircase has incredible tile, natural sunlight going up the stairwell, and this is just the newly remodeled first floor entryway. And let's just take a turn to the right and show you the living space. Sliding glass doors lead out to that front yard patio space with the curved archways, but this is the living room with the fireplace. You have Huge oversized window looking out to the side yard where you can see some massive trees keeping your pri property very private so no one can look in here. You can't see into their front yard. They can't see into your living room right here. But another slider leading out to the patio space and then the fireplace looks incredible with the same tile that we see in the front entryway. There's a lot to see in this house. So as we keep walking up, we go up a couple of steps and then that leads to the formal Dining area. Dining area can be closed off completely with the dual doors over there. Another one leading to the hallway. A nice detail is this window door leading into this cabinet section where you can store some glasses, some bottles, whatever you need to just spruce up this dining area a little bit better. This is such a nice neighborhood here in the Westwood, West LA. Seen a lot of similar houses like this, a lot of families that have lived here for a while and then you just get upgraded homes like this. I'm in awe of the kitchen guys. That's why I'm not looking at the camera right now because here you go. Here is the kitchen of this home. Boom, first off, it is very large. You can easily put maybe another breakfast table right here or just leave it as some open space. Another door leading out to a side yard and then quartz countertop space throughout. You got the sink with the integrated chrome and then center island. Once again, quartz countertops in the island, light fixture above and you can easily fit four or five people at the breakfast bar along the island side. Breakfast nook over in the back corner where your fridge and freezer compartment are down there. And then this leads out to the backyard where you can see the pool, very large pool. You actually can't build pools the size of that anymore or that deep out here in this area as well. But there is plenty of space. Let me just show you briefly. You can also park another car back there with through that gate as well, if you'd like to. But it really just depends your preferences, whether you prefer more private parking or if you just wanna leave it in the driveway. Definitely a big fan of the upgrades in this kitchen. It looks like one of those brand new $10 million homes you might see a couple miles away in Beverly Hills. I mean, we are in the heart of Los Angeles in Westwood, West LA area, just a few minutes from the 405 freeway so you can get north or south anywhere you'd need to be but this is a better suburban neighborhood and you're about two minutes away from the Century City Mall. So, I mean, anything you want is right around within a couple miles, 10 minute drive without much traffic. Now let's go down this walkway into the hall. One of the bedrooms at the end of this hall, pretty spacious bedroom, looks out to the backyard. And there is a walk-in closet in the back corner here, but back down the hall, let me show you. Kitchen, dining like we saw. And then we got this door leading to motion sensor lights. One, this is a massive bathroom, vanity to the right side, tub, shower, finishes are incredible in here. That's pretty much all there is to say in this bathroom. One more bedroom is to the right. You can see just an office space. It's a little small, so probably not big enough to make a full bedroom unless you unless you wanna really put someone in this bedroom without a closet or a bathroom, but I think this was specifically meant to be just an extra space where you can do some work, have an office, like they have it staged right now. As you come back out here, this is, leads down into a scary dungeon down there, guys, except just more storage space down there. We will not 
be exploring any uh, Stranger Things universes in this video. Maybe in a different video, but uh, we're gonna show you the actual rooms and what's upstairs. All right, we've made it to the top level. First off, we're gonna take a turn to the right and show you what's in this room. Once again, a very large and spacious room. You can easily fit two full-size or queen-size beds on this left side, and an easy space for a desk right here. Walk-in closet to the left, and walk-in closet to the right. And so this room overlooks the front yard. You can see the Wilshire corridor out there. You can see the street. See some of the other houses in the neighborhood, and it just shows you how incredible Everything is out here. How nice all of the homes are. Some neighborhoods in LA, you'll see a mix of brand new homes and kind of ugly Spanish duplexes that are just being rented out typically. But in this specific neighborhood, most of the homes do range from three to six million and they're usually 3,000 to 5,000 ish square feet. So it also does attract pretty similar residents in this specific suburban neighborhood right above the Wilshire corridor. But as we head out of this room, back down the hallway, let's take a turn. To the left, to the right here, this room, another spacious room. There is just plenty of space in all of these bedrooms, which is always a plus. You know, normally when you see some of these brand new construction homes in this range of four to six million, the rooms are about half the size of this one. So that's why some people will typically buy an older Spanish home because you can easily fit a king size bed and an office in here without any problem at all. And you get character, like in this fireplace. You never see this in a new build in any of the bedrooms with this kind of detail bordering the fireplace. This home just feels more LA than a lot of those modern boxes that might feel a little cold and a lot less homey than this one. And you can look right out to the Spanish red tile on the roof right here. Closet, boom, with that mirror. You actually get windows on three sides of this room, which is great, a lot of natural sunlight comes in, but right across the hall, let's just show you this bathroom. I mean, if I was talking about natural sunlight in that room, look at this bathroom, no lights are on, I guess one light is on up there. But this bathtub has beautiful gray tile. You can almost see yourself, it's like a mirror in this tile surrounding the entirety. The vanity shower has the same exact tile in here. This is incredible, guys, I mean, this tile, must have been installed this week. I don't even want to touch it. Like I said, you can literally see yourself in that tile. It's insane. Toilet has plenty of room right in front of it. You can maybe even have two toilets. Can you imagine that? Two toilets facing each other? I'm just kidding. That's a joke. No one wants two toilets facing each other because what would that be used for? Nothing. So enough of the jokes. Directly in front of me. Laundry room. Washer and dryer hookup right there. Boom. And then directly... In front of me, once again, we got this last bedroom. Master bedroom, bed to the right, beautiful chandelier, closet space to the left with a mirror. And then as we keep walking up, we'll show you the balcony for the master. Just a beautiful sun-drenched, oh my God, look at that. The sun just absolutely blinded me. Can't even see the camera anymore, but look at how much space is up here. And you get insane views of the hills, Wilshire Corridor behind me, the sky, Los Angeles. It is a beautiful day, just as every day is out here in LA. You also do look down onto the backyard and the pool behind me, but let's go back inside. Last but not least, we have the bathroom to check out, the master bathroom directly in front of me. Boom, look at this, here we are. You got the dual vanity with the marble countertops and the shower directly behind me, directly in front of me, we have this mirror that makes this bathroom look like it's three times the size of what it actually is. Another good detail are these windows. Aren't fully clear, they are tinted and blurred so your neighbors can't see you, which is always nice, but you can open them up if you wanna let out some steam and you don't wanna be uh, so claustrophobic here in the bathroom. But another great thing about the the upgrades, the renovations in here, right here. My favorite kind of mirror right here. With the click of this button, this turns, this changes colors, changes the color of the lights bordering the mirror, which is always cool. And then also there's a button to the left that will let the steam off the mirror so you don't have to rub it after you're done taking a shower. Cause I know a lot of you guys probably do that after you're done showering on a day to day basis. But then here is the primary shower. If you thought that other shower was nice, I mean, look at the tile in here. It is of a different gray tone, still that glass tile, and brand new matte rain shower head and a handheld one right there. 
Matt's shower head is very large. Shower bench to the left, little niche with different tile inside that shower niche, but you see the same ones on the ground. So I mean, upgrades in here, absolutely phenomenal. It makes you feel like you're living in a luxury home, even though this is an older Spanish home. But in my opinion, I'm a bigger fan of a Spanish modern home, such as this one. You got the Spanish exterior, the modern interior, instead of, like I said earlier, the cold white boxy homes that they're building in LA, that they're spending way too much on upgrades when you can just buy this for about a third of the price. Thank you guys for watching till the end of the video. If you like this home and wanna stick around for more houses like this in LA, in this price range or in lower price ranges, hit the subscribe button, follow me week by week. I'm showing you homes just like this. If you wanna see more expensive luxury homes, I got another channel for that. If you're interested in buying, selling, or renting in LA, my team and I are always happy to help. Oof. Yep. But I know there might be some comments just like always, oh, that's, Four million dollars, how is that even possible out there? Well, if you're living in LA, it's actually a pretty decent deal for a Spanish exterior with the remodel like that. You're getting that much space. Or you can spend four million dollars for a home half the size if you want it a little bit newer. But all in all, that is what you get for around this price point here in a nice suburban neighborhood with good views just above the Wilshire Corridor, pretty close to the 405 freeway and right next to Beverly Hills. Hit the like button because it helps the algorithm. Appreciate you guys. If you're looking to buy or invest in LA, let me know. I know every street like the back of my hand. Always appreciate you guys for watching along these videos and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.